Hi folks, well one of the projects that um, I've started is basically the rebuild of my server and I've basically taken the best parts from two computers and put them together so we've got the parts from my old main PC which went into this case that we were given last year and I've combined them with the uh, Foxconn system that I also got given last year. Now my main issues with the Foxconn system were that it was just loud, the cooler on it was always running at full speed so we've taken the, the Zywood Vivo cooler off my old PC and popped that in here plus I've made use of two of my best fans which I hadn't found usage for because I'd been using LED fans and a lot of stuff and I've put those in here as well so the whole system runs a lot quieter now and um, what I'll do is we'll take the side panels off and you can have a look at what hardware we've got in there well here we are with the uh, side panel off the side of the server case we've got it running at the moment and as you can hear that's not too loud at all with the Zawood Vivo cooler that's running at full speed um, I've got an Arctic Cooling PWM fan at the back also running at full speed and then there's a Spire 120mm fan running at, at 7 volts at the front so hopefully that will provide plenty of cooling this is going to go in a cupboard so it does need to provide plenty of cooling but it's not going to be too noisy either so I think once that's in the cupboard you won't hear it at all now a couple of things about this first of all changing the case to the one that I have been using because this is still a micro ATX case so it's still reasonably small not not as big as a mid tower but has some of the features that you get in bigger cases like a, a nice um, I don't know rack here for hard drives okay usually in micro ATX cases you might get one small one like this um, but this has actually got space in there for four plus you could squeeze another one in there and if I took the card reader out I could probably squeeze another one in so you could get six hard drives in there and seven if I used one of the five and a quarter inch bays at the top there's two optical drives in there at the moment don't need that many so we'll take one out and um, might eventually take both of them out maybe use the optical drive to, to get the operating system loaded um, it is a Foxconn socket 775 board with a Pentium 4 3 gig in there and 2 gigabytes of DDR2 RAM so that is newer than what I've been using and should provide um, a better system I think it'll be a little bit uh, faster and be more capable of perhaps streaming video over the network um, at the moment there's just an 80 gigabyte hard drive in there which the operating system is going to go on and I shall be putting in initially two one terabyte drives I'm not going to be putting them in RAID um, that's what I've had with my free NAS server but to be honest with you I've realised I don't really need RAID but it does make things more complicated if you want to upgrade or add things in so I'm going to be going instead for a Ubuntu server on this I'm running the two drives separately so we will have two terabytes of storage and instead we'll just be making sure that those are backed up I've been backing them up anyway but backup is more important than RAID really unless you need the system to carry on if you have a drive fail RAID it's not really necessary to be honest um, it's not that I need it to carry on if a drive fails I just need to make sure I don't lose my data well backing up is the way to do it RAID isn't backup um, but backup is more important than RAID if you catch my drift so a change of operating system it also means I'll be able to use this as a print server I was never able to get FreeNAS to work as a print server so I'll be <laughs> very <laughs> pleased to finally get that up and running um, so the intention will be to keep this running most of the time so I probably will upgrade this power supply it, it's a good power supply but it's just getting a bit old and I think we really need to get an 80 plus in there um, so yeah should work also because this is going to go in a cupboard as well I need the or I want to be at the bottom so it's reachable which it is on this case um, so overall I think this is going to be a better server than the one we've got what I've got to do now really is uh, get the operating system loaded get it all set up um, 
basically set up the various uh, software and packages I'm going to need to run it. I'm probably going to use Webmin as a web interface. I've been playing about with Ubuntu server in a virtual machine. Um, so you can use Webmin. Also you can use uh, kind of an SSH client like, like Putty which means you don't even you know you can use that. It's as if you're actually in the system itself so you, you don't need a, a monitor then on the system once you've got that installed. Lots of ways of kind of accessing it. Um, but that's it really. So that's the hardware that's going in. And uh, really all that remains is to get this back together and start loading on the operating system and getting it configured. So anyway, there we go. That's um, that's the revised rebuilt server. And uh, thank you very much for watching.